Um, yeah, there's no so far, and there's of course obviously no reason to think about Bobby. It's about thinking about how could we line up in general differently. Uh, could they play together? Yes, of course. Um, that's all that. But it was was just was all just positive. The the, the impact Daniel had, and um, it was intense game. It was. Um, yeah, it was a fantastic game of him, to be honest. So that's that's really that, and that's the best news. And so now we know more about that, and that um, a lot of games will come. Um, and so good to know about that. And um, so that's why I was so pleased with the performance because it, yeah, it's always easy for well, it could be not only easy, and sometimes it's the truth as well that the players say, yeah, now I play, but I don't have the rhythm, but. He had minutes before, before that, and a lot of good sessions, and so he had rhythm and played really well. So that's good. And how I said, a lot of games to come, and so and, and these two boys can play together as well. They did in the past, by the way, uh, and they can do it again. Mo Salah has only scored one less than in his first six games last season, and it's only the third time that he's gone three games for Liverpool without scoring. He's never gone four games for Liverpool without scoring, by the way. Yet at times this season. He seems to have looked a little bit frustrated with himself. From your perspective, where do you say his level is at at the moment? Oh, on the, on the def defensive side, the last two games were outstanding, per perfect points. So important in these games, especially. So that shows everything or says everything about him, that he's really ready to work for the team in these moments. And it's a completely normal situation for an offensive player that they have times when you don't score, but um, he's still a threat. He had fantastic situations, offensive situations in the game, in, in both games, both of the last game. So, and um, yeah, he is um, in a good shape, actually. Yeah, and then finishing is something you you never can take for granted. That I I never do that, and the players should never do that, and um, so only the supporters are allowed to do that, <laughs> actually. But um, it, it's really is in good shape, and the most important thing is physically in a very good shape, and that helps. Virgil said this week that you have four competitions to play in, you want to win everything, that's basically the mindset at the moment. So, in terms of winning everything, how realistic a proposition is that with four trophies to go for? He used the word want? Yes. Yeah. We want. How could we not want? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, yeah, that's, uh, of course we want. Uh, unfortunately, I want that um, already. For my entire life, and it didn't happen too often, obviously. So um, yeah, that's that's how it is. Um, nothing else to say about it. So uh, we have to. It's still unbelievable, but it's still early in the season. So um, yes, and we had a good start. That's all, and that's why maybe these questions come up. If we would have lost four of the first five, then nobody would ask that, or in a different way. Um, so that's all okay, but didn't change our mindset for a percentage. We are completely focused on the next job to do, and um, that's Southampton, and nothing else is really interesting for us. So in terms of what you've done across your, your entire life, as you mentioned there, again, this is game 600 in your managerial career. So what still drives you that gave you just every single bit the same amount of passion, or it seems to, as game one? Uh, never thought about that, to be honest. It, you, you, you're a bit older than 20 years ago as well. Um, we, I only see the difference when I look in the mirror, but I don't do that too often because of that, by the way. Um, inside, nothing changed. <laughs> a few people would say that's not too cool, but um, that's how I realize it very often. So in, in my view on life is not really different, and my view on football will never be different. So I love that game, that's all. Um, and. Pff, Oh, I said it a lot of times, and I mean it when I say there are much better, uh, a lot of better managers than, than me out there, but um, that never stopped me doing my best, only in the way I can do it. That's it. But I'm not, I don't go to a game and think, today I'll be like that and look like that. It always happens. Uh, because on it not always happens because it's about the game, um, and sometimes it's very positive because it's the game is very positive, and sometimes it's not that positive because the game is not that positive. But my, I never forget my job to do because I, I, what I try actually is to help the, the boys, and sometimes it's with the, the right words, and sometimes it's with the right movements, obviously, because I cannot 
stop doing that, obviously, otherwise I would have stopped it already. Um, so that's it. That's, um, I'm really a really lucky guy that I, I never, really 600, that's a lot. Only league games. As a manager, 600 as a manager. League games or? All of them. All of them. Yeah, okay, then it's okay. A lot of cup games as well. <laughs> Friendlies as well. Pre-season games. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you should prepare the question for me. This is better. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, cool. Oh, it's a nice number. Yeah, so we should win that. Yeah, then I will never forget that. Um, I have no clue where we played game number 500. Was that at Liverpool already? Do I have more than 100 games? This is your 162nd at Liverpool. Wow. So, um, yeah, obviously I'm not a numbers guy, um, but it's. Uh, that's the way it is. Um, yeah, I am like I am. Not to change, obviously. So in terms of what you said at the start then about not being a numbers guy, I'm guessing 50, whatever. You, in your mind, you're still 30, whatever, age-wise? You could start earlier. I, I didn't change. I became father when I was 20, and I, 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 my view on, on life was similar. So it didn't happen. Only I have a, new, a few more experiences since then. Um, I'm much calmer since I, um, than I was then. Um, but no, I didn't change that much. So I, I, I think we all feel the same. It's um, um, when somebody would have told me that I think like with, with 20, that I have the same view on life with 50. I would have felt really old already, probably. But it's um, that's how it is. We don't have to change too much. So that's cool. My life is, I have a good life, so I do what I love to do. Um, so I was sometimes lucky, sometimes unlucky. That's how it is. Yeah. Since 20, didn't happen a lot. Did you ask for that one? Um, I'm waiting for that headline. <laughs> Actually, somebody will do a funny thing with that. Just to pick up on oh, what yeah. you're saying. Of course, let's talk about my age. <laughs> <laughs> you're 50, yeah, right? One. Oh, you're 51? Yeah. Now. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for that surprised face. I knew it was a, I think it began with a five. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just digging myself out. Um, you were saying about Mo to Vinny and about how he's been good defensively in the last two games, but is it because everybody expects, because of what um, Mo achieved last season, that we're trying to expect the same thing to happen of again? Of course. Of course. But of course everybody expects that. That's clear. We don't expect that, but we want to we want to score him as often as possible. That's that's how it is. But um, that's completely normal that everybody expects that, and nobody is interested. What did you say when he, when, when uh, last year in the first how many games he scored? How often? He scored three and six in his first six last season. So he scored two and six. Yeah. This wow, season. that's a crisis. So um, nobody rem remembers that. So that's how it is. So it's really it's really no problem. We we. We constantly have to deal with the new situations. People are very positive about this player, about this player, about this player, and I have to decide: do I talk to him about that or not, or do I, do I leave? Do I leave him alone in that situation, or do I talk to him about all that stuff? That, that's always like this. But with Mo, everything is fine, really. Um, and yes, it was a, he, he lost the ball before we, before he conceded the second goal because a very intense game and things like this happen constantly. You don't always concede the goal after that. And this time we did. It was not a reason for taking him off. Of course not. So we, I'm fine with him. I, I think he's fine with me and with the situation. And um, so that's all. Yeah. At the end of the season, we will see how it was. Not not at the beginning. So the start was good for us as a team and for him as well. Yeah, was it already like he finished last season, um, Premier League season especially? No, but he needed time last year, like we all needed time, and we will, uh, will t uh, take time this year, that's all. Jürgen, yeah, can you sense almost a growing maturity in your team this season, not just in terms of the different way you've won matches, but if you look at midweek in the Champions League, 2 0, and then you concede a late goal. <laughs> And it's two all. Again, you've dominated, but but you still and the players still managed to to come up with the winner. Is there a mental thing at the play as well? Well, yeah, we have not a lack of confidence in the moment, but it's um, but but that's not. Um, 
you cannot be sure if you concede the second. And, and Thomas Tuchel was one of us, and right when he said after the game, B could have scored, or they could have scored the, the, the third one in the counter attack with drug slam. And I think it was, was virtual with a fantastic block in that situation, probably after a set piece from us. I'm not 100 percent sure. So, um, yes, yeah, so these things can happen. That, is that then a sign for majority um, getting more and more matured or not? If, we, if it would have been 2 2, would we speak in the same way, or would we talk about. Um, yeah, you tune it up. You have to control the game better, stuff like that. So life is not that easy. So we were a bit lucky that we, that that Bobby obviously found a fantastic way to decide the game. Um, that was really cool. It was deserved over the full 95 minutes for sure as well. But that's not a sign for anything. That's only yeah. We, I saw in the face. My my feeling was as well. It's not over. So we can score. Still, that's of course, but it was not. It was not for sure, and um, but it happened, and we have to we have to um, make sure that things like this, that we decide games, um, will happen much more often. And the next one is, the, as I said, is the, is the most difficult one. You know, Southampton, um, at, uh, they have their own situation, which I want to improve. And um, coming here, well, I'm pretty sure with a clear match plan, and then uh, we have to find solutions again, and um, that's that's really difficult. And what do what do people expect? And are we ready to to create the best atmosphere of all games so far? That would be cool. Um, nice. We have okay. We play at three. Maybe after half time, at least it could be dark, <laughs> and then we have kind of a European night if we want. So let's let's do it. Let's let's play the best game because nobody. In, I, I remember when people spoke to me about the next seven games two or three weeks ago, and then <coughs> nobody mentioned Southampton. That was funny, and uh, I always had to remind them. And that's that's the thing, and that's that's the challenge. Not not really for us, but coming. Being really focused on the next game always, or on the game you play in the moment, that's the job to do, nothing else. And then working on the, uh, for the little advantages in a game like that, really hard working for that, that's, that's the, the thing we have to do. Finding different solutions, being, what I said many times, staying angry. That was, by the way, that, that you opened the app. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. That's it. Really, no, it was not. A, no problem. Did the camera catch that? Um, that's it. Eh? We have to. We have to be really in the situation constantly. And for us, nothing changed. You cannot imagine. It's not that the, the mood in a team is good. If it was good at the start, it's not that we that we are flying in training. We don't have a lot of training because we recover most of the time. But it's not like that. If I would see somebody lose a bit focus, I can be really. Angry about that. So far, nobody gave me the gave me the, um, um, the chance to do so. Well, I didn't have to do it so far, but it's um, it still can happen, and that's that's all. Being one hundred percent in the game and the, show Southampton how difficult it is to come to Anfield. That's the job to do for Saturday. Danny Ings has made a, a decent start since he joined Southampton in terms of his goal return. He was so unlucky, wasn't he, at Liverpool and with, with injuries and never really got a, a clear run at things. But uh, he'll be keen to make an impact. You can bet your life on that. Everybody at Melbourne, probably not only Melbourne, loves Dan Ings. So he was a fantastic guy. He is. And when he scored his first goal, it was like some. It's like still, it was, would be our player. Okay, he's only on loan, but uh, he scored for Southampton. So um, it's really nice. And I'm, to be honest, I'm not. <laughs> It's good that he cannot play. <laughs> he's in good shape. Eh? He's always a threat, and um, I'm sure Danny is, a, is a, a football player. And then in a game like this, you would like to show um, that um, your time at Liverpool was a bit unlucky. Even when he loves all the people here as well, that's how it is. But the rules are: he cannot play. So, but um, we follow his um, his games really closely, and um, and like see him like seeing him performing. He's one of our boys. Still, it's not too long ago that he that he left. Um, yes, he was unlucky. He was injured a lot, but he was always around, and so we have all a really close relationship. So, um, yeah, really happy for him that it works out like that. Um, last season, after Champions League games, you drew six, <laughs> twelve. Finally, somebody comes with a negative. I'm really happy about that. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm saying, yeah. well, I'm the we drew six. No, I'm giving the chance to offer a positive in terms of you know, is that something you've you've looked at how to address this season? No. Um, 
we, it's always difficult. There won't be one team plays during the week and the other team doesn't, as one team has a lot more time to, to prepare the game. In this case, now Southampton <coughs> played on Monday night. We okay, have a game less, but at least they played only one day before us. Um, but that's always a difference. But Tuesday, Saturday should not be a problem. It will not be a problem. Focus-wise, I'm, I'm really pretty sure we have to prove that still. But I'm pretty sure that it will not be a problem. But we need, like we always need, the, the game from Tuesday night in an empty stadium. We have no chance to get a point. That's the truth. So the people made the difference. Yes, together with the boys, 100%. But the people made the difference. So and now we have to show all that we can switch between competitions eh? on on Saturday afternoon that we don't. We have famous, famous, famous um, European nights, but um, I think the boys deserve uh, a, a, a brilliant atmosphere, not only a good one, a brilliant atmosphere, and um, and that's what we need South, against Southampton. It's, this league doesn't wait for you. Eh? So it's like you, you if you want to be somewhere in the first part of the table, you have to win from the first day, and if you don't want to stay in the league, you have to pretty much to keep contact at least from the first day, and so it, it's like, and that's what Southampton is um, has to do, obviously. And um, it's a they have a really good team, good individual developments. Brought in with Westergaard, a, a, a really good centre half, very physical guy. Heuberg stepped up, um, Long and and Ingsi up front. Austin Gabbiadini, that, that's already a lot of quality. Even if Ingsi cannot play, and Gabbiadini maybe not, but then there's still uh, Long and. Um, and Austin, then you have Ward Pros, didn't start in the last game, but what a footballer he is. Yeah? So, in, in all that stuff, so they have a really good team. We don't have to talk about the fullbacks, Bertrand and Cedric. That's, that's, that's all, all real quality. The goalie plays a good season. So, to be ready for, for this game, it's not important who we played before. It's not important what we did last year with drawing six after playing Champions League. Nobody's tired in the moment, nobody. It's not that we that we should say, okay, we, uh, Tuesday we played. Oh my God, when is the next game? Saturday. That's a perfect break. That's no problem. And um, so we will be ready tomorrow. But I'm sure we will be able to show. We have still to show it. That's all. Well, just I'll, I'll give you a positive one. That um, last season, everyone was talking about your front three. This season, it seems to be the midfield that is catching some people's eye. And people some people are still being surprised by James Milner. In his performances, but that, that can't come as a surprise to people who know him, how he's well he's done this season. Yeah, it's for sure already a bit longer. It's not only this season, so maybe it was last year he had what, what was it? Had most assist in the Champions League was James Milner. So how can you be surprised about that when he when he is doing similar things? So I said a few times, only in football it sounds like 32 would be a. a, a a massive age or whatever, so it's in all other parts of life. You are still young, and he is still young, if you want, and um, a proper professional. And um, so that means his body gives him the opportunity to do so. That's that's for sure. Um, but of course, it's not only him. So it's always like that. Two weeks ago, people said maybe we don't need Jordan Henderson or whatever, and then he played like he played. Ginny Wijnaldum um, maybe was the first was not lined up anymore after we made the signings and stuff like that. So the boys are, they are really good boys and they, they, they can still improve. That's a good thing because even James and he is the best example for that. He's the best example for that. Um, that he really is now in a position which he loves, obviously. Very, he's a very energetic boy and, and very lively and, and likes to cover big distances. All that stuff. That helps, of course, in midfield. But it helped us as well <laughs> when he played the left back. That's how it is. So he can play football that makes him pretty uh, pretty valuable player to be honest so no I'm not surprised of course not Jürgen you obviously started the season with three clean sheets and then conceded four goals in the last three do you, does that sort of change your perception of how you've defended or do you feel like you've just been sort of unfortunate in the way the goals have gone in <sighs> the goal we conceded against Tottenham was after a set piece. We missed the ball twice, which we usually that was a, not the most difficult headers to really, I think two players missed the ball and then in the end he can he can score. The Paris gold everybody saw, so we don't want to stick put the finger too much in it, but obviously the first one was offside, so do we have to change anything in defending for that? When it, and the second one, yeah, when you have a wide formation in the build up 
and lose the ball. That's never a good idea, especially not when Neymar and Pape are around. So these two. Are, I, what was the fourth goal we conceded? That must be awesome, Leicester. Leicester. Uh, yeah. So no, we didn't. We didn't change. We don't have to change. It's not about that. We that we change like um, we don't concede. So let's play only offensive. So we are um, we are still um, really in it to 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 work on our rhythm. Uh, and the balance that we really have to the, the, use the right tools in the right moment. More important than the goals, the number of goals you concede is the number of shots you get against you. I don't know the number exactly, but that's more important because if the other team only, if you only block it constantly in the last moment, then you have a defensive problem. But um, as more of, if you really um, keep the other team away from your goal. That's good defending, and that's what we do most of the time, actually. And so that's what we have tried to do. Again, we cannot do that around set pieces, obviously, but we can do it in all the other situations, and that's the main job. That will never change. Hey, Jürgen, Dejan Lovren returned to full training this week, and um, Alex Oxley Chamberlain recently kicked the ball for the first time. Both have very different timescales for recovery, but important steps for both of them. Yeah, Dejan is close. Dejan is close. Um, looks really fit. Did a lactate test last week, so um, fitness-wise, he's on a, uh, on a on a for his situation on a really okay level, rather good than than average, and um, that's good. So good work from the fitness department, and um, um, we will see. It's not in a, not not for a squad for the weekend, of course, but um, we will see how soon we can try to 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 involve him again. And Ox, yes, Ox a different situation. But it's so nice to have Ox around. And he's, uh, I, I, I heard that he's. I can imagine. I had a long injury in my career, so it's not the first month you you take it somehow, and then you think, so that's really boring. That's not that exactly why I wanted to play football. So, and probably he had for sure moments like this. But he's such a positive, and we really, we are really waiting for him without making pressure on him. And we know that it will take a long time, but he will always be a very important part. Of the squad because of the guy he is. Uh, he's, um, could have I said it a few times. I could have never imagined. I knew he's a good footballer when we signed him. I could have never imagined what an <coughs> outstanding person he is. So um, that's a big miss for us. But how is that? Um, he's most of the time around, and so um, gives still is still working on the good atmosphere in and around the team. <laughs> Milano, Dominic Solanke, Divock Origi. Yeah, um, Dom trains today, first time after his um, concussion. Um, Div Divock tried yesterday, but still feels it when he's um, changed the direction and still is aware of it. So maybe we don't have to do make pressure in that. I think maybe Sunday, maybe first session with the team. Um, yeah, Adam is, is, gets closer and closer, so he's um, still doing um, his, his, um, his rehab work, but um, out on the pitch and all that stuff, so he's, uh, he's in a, in a, it's not too far away from the team, for sure. Yeah, Jürgen, yeah, it was just because now that uh, Thomas Bjorn, captain of the Ryder Cup team, is a big Liverpool fan, I just wondered a week on... Uh, a week ahead of the Ryder Cup now. Do you have a, a message for the European Ryder Cup captain? I hope they don't. Um, they don't need my message because I have absolutely no idea about golf. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, they can say. Yeah, I, I have no clue what what you say for for golfers. To be honest, because I'm still working, I have no time for golf. But um, I love to start it. No, I can. I really hope they don't need me. Um, it should be. They should be okay. It's only America. Come on. Yeah. <laughs>